by Bruce from Safari. We're going to chat to James here in a minute. But James has got a brand new Raptor towing a brooder at the back there. And let's have a chat. James, how are you today? Very well, thank you, Bruce. Now, you've put a treasure chest in the back of the Raptor. We'll look at it in a minute. And why have you done this? Mate, this camper trailer has got some fairly interesting little journeys coming up. I'm planning on using it, not letting it sit in the garage. And I've had issues with um, power in camper trailers before, and it's, it's primary objective number one, make sure you've got adequate power, adequate cooling, adequate everything else. So I wanted to make sure I had a power supply that was 10 foot tall, bulletproof, and did not require a generator <laughs> to run, and I wasn't gonna run out of power, and you guys seem to have solved the problem. All right, very good. Thank you, James. Let's have a look. So there's the brand new Raptor, which is, looks stunning. It's all in black and white, matches the brooder. And uh, yeah, Tom has done this in the back. That's what we call our power case or treasure chest. I'll open that up, thank you. And at the top there, you'll see we've got a Scotty that's charging like crazy here at the moment. And uh, the inverter that we've got over there, the 5,000, we've got the batteries underneath here. But now what's interesting is this plug here that you'll see. And that is an industrial grade locking uh, protected plug. And that comes out the back. And hey presto, there's another one there because when James is towing, the aircon is running in the van. And look at this, we've just had it on test. You can see the water coming and dripping down here now. So when he's towing, that, that, the brooder will go chilled. And when he arrives there, it'll use less power. So we were seeing, what, 600 watts there before? 700 watts? In about 700 watts. 700 which is watts. pretty bloody good. Well, you'll get 10 hours out of those batteries in that uh, brooder with the, if, it's, uh, if the batteries are fully charged when you arrive and it's chilled, you'll comfortably get 10 hours out of that overnight. Now all I need to do is figure out how to actually get 10 hours sleep. And we're starting in the right direction. Oh, James, that's pretty good. What do you think? How good's that, eh? Mate, I think it's awesome. Who'd have thought? 48 volts and it's gonna solve the problem and it seems to. I'll right. keep you guys posted. Right, oh, good. And I always say to customers, I hope I never see you again, James. Well, <laughs> I won't take that personally. No, Bruce. you won't. It's just that the customers leave and the good news here is we don't get them coming back. Alrighty, thanks James. Cheers. See you later.